Since the dawn of time, the universe has been an intricate dance between the known and the unknown. From an exalted tradition of masters who have realized this complete picture comes Avaduta Swaprakashananda. He attained the highest spiritual status of an Avaduta, which means one who is beyond body and ego consciousness. His disciple was Amritananda Nata Saraswati, a nuclear scientist who turned to spirituality after having had a series of inexplicable mystical experiences. Amritananda Saraswati was initiated into Sri Vidya and spent the rest of his life in spreading this one secret of knowledge to the masses. He founded the world-famous Devi Puram Temple, a one-of-a-kind place where a three-dimensional representation of the Sri Yantra, Hinduism's most famous symbol, was built in the form of a temple. The mantle was then passed on to Sri Guru Karanamaya, who was initiated into Sri Vidya at the young age of 27. Guru Karanamaya's first divine experience was at the tender age of seven at a Ganesha temple in Chennai. About 10 years ago, in an ancient temple near the world-famous temple town of Kumbakonam, he experienced a vision in which he had a conversation with the Universal Divine Mother. This experience changed his consciousness forever. His dedication to his guru is unparalleled and he was bestowed the great honor of leading the Devi Puram temple as its pontiff. Later, on the advice of his guru, Sri Guru Karanamaya began to travel tirelessly to all corners of the world, spreading the knowledge of Sri Vidya. With the support of his wife, Sri Arunamba, he founded the Soundary Lahari Trust, a non-profit organization in Boston in the year 2000. Guru Karanamaya's vision is very broad and far-reaching. Under his guidance, Soundary Lahari Trust is working to bring ancient wisdom into the modern world. This is done through programs that blend spirituality with material living. All activities of Soundary Lahari foster unity regardless of race, religion or nationality. Guru Karanamaya emphasizes and teaches individuals how to discover the inherent power of the Universal Mother within one's own self. The world benefits when individuals are turned into epitomes of excellence. Guru Karanamaya has also worked hard over the years to simplify and explain the significance of ancient Vedic rituals bringing this rare esoteric knowledge to the masses. Guru Karanamaya lays a strong emphasis on children and the youth who are the future of mankind. In his workshops, Guru Karanamaya covers topical subjects and imparts essential life skills to people of all ages. Topics include how to effectively deal with anger, tools for stress management, improving communication skills, enhancing interpersonal relationships, all of which form an essential foundation of any spiritual practice. People from all parts of the world come to India to hear his message and to learn from him. He gives discourses and conducts multi-day in-depth workshops and retreats in many countries around the world. And I've recently had the opportunity, both here in the United States and in India, to spend time with Guruji Krunamaya. And I want to share with you what a pleasure and what a deeply rewarding experience that was. I believe that Guruji teaches a positive, practical spirituality that when we apply it to our daily lives, has a significant impact on the quality of our life. I would highly advise you, if you have the opportunity to study with this great master, to give yourself that gift. Guruji truly brings an essence of truth to life that I have not been able to find in any other venue. His retreats in India are in settings similar to which the ancient yogis practiced for millennia. 
We just got a taste of this very beautiful knowledge and uh, I wish that this kind of retreats would be like few months and years maybe. Yeah? No, it's very beautiful experience, it's very impressive knowledge and uh, I think it makes the person really um, more, more happy, more lively, intellectually, physically, anyhow. Yeah? So I would recommend this workshop for everyone. Whether people are with some spiritual practice already or no, it's very enriching. It's very enriching and they are, I heard many new things. I heard many new things and techniques given are very holistic, very uplifting. So just uh, we, we are wishing to have Guruji again and again to give us more of this precious knowledge. Yeah? Activities such as workshops are carried out in intimate group settings with one-on-one -on -one instruction by Guru Karanamaya. Uh, namaste, Shri Matri Namaha. Uh, I was uh, firstly experienced uh, this kind of retreat of Sri Vidya knowledge long time, but I never heard this kind of depths of the knowledge because then I can understand each and every part of my body is Mother Divine and like connection is so close, you can just close your eyes and feel Mother inside and this is so beautiful. And uh, last year it was my biggest wish um, to have the Trivani Kalpam um, to feel the Trivani Kalpam on my, my um, own body, mind and soul. And I'm very grateful for that experience. Um, um, very deep experience which um, when I put in the words the, the, the experience would go from my heart. Yeah, I wish that many, many people reach um, Guruji and um, have the experience of that um, session for healing but also to connect to the Divine Mother which is the main I think for a sadhak. Inspired by his example of complete love and dedication to his wife many couples regularly worship the Divine Mother principle in each other. The Sri Yantra a famous mystical symbol which represents the womb of creation forms a focal point of many of the events organized by Saundarya Lahari. In one such event, the world's largest Sri Yantra was drawn and worshipped in New Jersey. Activities highlighting the significance of many other sacred symbols are conducted in informal and enjoyable settings. His message is about reaching the divine through universal love and compassion and realizing the oneness of all creatures. To take his message even further, Saundari Lahiri opened its first Sri Vidya Learning Center in Bangalore in May 2017. Workshops, discourses and practical demonstrations of Vedic fire rituals are conducted on a regular basis. Saundarya Lahiri is planning to open a Sri Vidya Ashram in Rishikesh, India next year. Situated in picturesque surroundings by the banks of the river Ganges, the spiritual vibrations of the pure Himalayan air will promote the growth of all seekers who come there. For close to 40 years, Sri Guru Karanamaya has been practicing Sri Vidya, distilling its essence and teaching that to thousands of seekers from all over the world. It is his dream to spend the rest of his life by the cradle of mankind's spiritual energy, the sacred Himalayan ranges. At the Sri Vidya Ashram, knowledge will be imparted as was done by sages thousands of years ago. The underpinning of any spiritual practice is meditation. Meditation has a multitude of benefits, both at a physical and a mental level. At the Sri Vidya Ashram in Rishikesh, the main meditation hall will have a simple and open floor plan. The three main Sri Vidya deities, Lalita Parameshwari, Varahi, and Raja Shamala will adorn the main altar. A dedicated Yagshala will be constructed. Here, daily fire rituals invoking sacred healing energies will be conducted. Sri Vidya mantras will be chanted daily. 
with ritual offerings as per the ancient Agamic scriptures. A unique aspect of the ashram will be the mudra meditation area. Mudras are tools of silent communication with the divine energy. The 10 major Sri Vidya mudras, when practiced according to traditional methods, are known to activate the seven chakras and the gross, subtle, and causal bodies. The ambiance of the living quarters will be designed with the aim of relaxation and rejuvenation of both the mind and the body. Living and meditating in the lap of nature at the Sri Vidya Ashram in Rishikesh, India will have a lasting, transformative effect on every seeker's spiritual journey. We need your help in spreading the saga of Sri Vidya to all corners of the world. Please join us in this divine mission in making the world a peaceful and heavenly place for generations to come.